Hey guys and welcome to Nick Grit. Today we're going to do a tutorial on the very thing that started me out in the crafting world. We're going to go over my mother's granny square pattern, which I'm sure is many people's mother's granny square pattern. And I know it's not knitting, it's crocheting, but this is what started me out in crafting. And I learned to crochet first before I learned how to knit. And I have a love for both. And I just really wanted to get out this nice little tutorial to show people that it's really easy to make these really pretty granny squares. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need worsted weight yarn. You don't need a lot to make a granny square, which is the beauty of them. I'm using three different types of yarn. They're all Vanna's Choice. They're just different colorways. And they are all used to make the three different types of granny squares that I showed earlier. You're also going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a size J with Susan Bates. It's my preferred, I like these metals, metal Susan Bates ones because of the groove that they have and how much of a nice, it's not sharp, but it's a pointier edge so that you can get into your knitting as you need. For this project, you're going to need to know how to do a basic pretzel knot, to do a basic chain and magical loop, which I'll show you how to do if you don't know how to do it fully. You're also going to need to know how to do a double crochet and a slip stitch into your work. To start out, you're going to want to chain six. One, two, let's get this out a little bit. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Magical loop is something that you'll hear a lot in, in crocheting. So you're going to want to take your hook and go into your very first chain. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into those. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to chain two. One, two. This acts as your first double crochet. It's the same height. It, it just does. So now, you're going to want to start making clusters of three. This is basically just a collection of clusters of three, which is really nice. So now, we're going to want to do two double crochets within the circle. I make sure to keep my tail around the circle so that it's being crocheted within it. So you crochet one, and you crochet two. We're making the basis, oh, I missed it. We're making the basis of our square. Now we're going to want to chain one, two, three. So we chain two, we double crochet two, we're pulling that closer this way so that we have more room in our circle, and now we chain three. This acts as our edge. This is our first turning around point. Now we're going to want to double crochet three within the circle after we've done that. One, two, three. And I'm pulling these double crochets this way closer to my edge so that it's making a shape more or less. My ball is stuck. There we go. So now we're making another edge and we're keeping our tail along with our circle. We're making another edge so we chain one, two, three. We chain three. And we're doing another three cluster in the center. So one, two, One more chain three. One, two, three, because we're turning another edge. And we're gonna do another, pull that closer this way. Do another three cluster. This will be our last three cluster until the next round. One, two, three. And this time I'm going to chain two because otherwise it just looks kind of weird. I don't know why, I'm just chaining two, now we're back in the beginning. And we're gonna wanna slip stitch back into our very first double crochet from the first part of this. So we slip stitch into that. Now we have the basis of our square, which is a nice, neat looking thing. If you don't like this hole, what's nice about this tail being crocheted in with the circle is that you can now pull this tail and it closes up that circle. If you want to close it up the entire way, you can just hold it that way and it closes it up entirely. So, we 
can now go to our next round. You can change colors as much as you want. I think I'm just gonna stick with this gray color for right now until the next third round. So now we're gonna wanna do our double crochet. Uh, we're gonna wanna do our chain two. We're chaining two. We're going into this hole, the hole that we just made from our last round. We're gonna go into it twice. So double crochet one, double crochet two. And now we're going to chain one to give us a space between here and our edge. These are all gonna be edge pieces in which we're going to do a three cluster, chain one, three cluster. That chain one helps us turn the corner. So we now go one, two, sorry about that, three. I'm gonna pull this so that it's a little bit open. And now we're gonna chain one. And now we're gonna do one, two, This, and now we're gonna chain one to give us space for the next time. This is our edge, this is our corner. So every time we have a corner here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a three cluster, chain one, three cluster. We're gonna do that on each of these until we get back to this point. Here we're gonna do a three cluster and then join back. But for right now, we're gonna do another three cluster and we'll be right back. So we have done these two edges as well now. We're going to chain one to give us a space like we do in between all of these corners. And see here how we started our corner edge here? We're gonna finish it off with another three cluster within this circle. So we're gonna go in here. Actually, I like to pick up the tail and crochet it in. It gives me a bit more security with my tail. I'm a bit paranoid about it. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. Two, three. I'm gonna get that tail out of the way. And now we're back, so we're gonna chain one. And we're gonna slip stitch back into our very first double crochet like we did in the last round. So now we have this. This is our basic square. Actually change colors now so we're gonna set that aside cut that and now I'm gonna change it to I think I'm gonna change it to black or you know what I'm gonna do maroon why not let's do maroon because I haven't done one that way yet pop that yarn back there give myself a decent tail for sewing I'm gonna go over here, pick up and hold it just like I'm usually holding it for that. I'm gonna go one, two. Now I'm gonna take my tail that I have here and I'm gonna crochet it into what I'm already crocheting. So I did my two chains and I'm gonna go into this edge and do two double crochets like I have been. One, two. And now I chain one to give myself a space. Now you have this spacer here. This is where you're gonna put a three cluster. And then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do your edge. Chain one, cluster, edge, cluster, edge, cluster. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And that's basically what you're gonna keep doing until you have it the size that you want. Anytime you have an edge piece right here, which is nice and cluster bound, like here, clusters inside of it. Two and three. So now you've got that inside there like that. And anytime you have that piece there, that's what it'll look like. And then you chain one, you go into this edge piece here where you've got this nice hole from that chain spacer that you left. And you're creating another edge. So you're gonna do your three double crochet two, three, you're gonna chain one to leave a space for your next time round. It also makes a nice little edge, so it's a double whammy there. 
and you're going to do one, two, three, and you chain one. So now you've got your edge here, you turned it, so now you're working on this part of the wall. You're going to go over here, you've chained one already, you're going to go into this space and do a three cluster. One, two, three, you chain one. You go in, you do your corner. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three. Now you'll notice, and chain one. Now you'll notice this edge now has two spacers. So if you go around again, you're gonna do a cluster here and you're gonna do a cluster here. And that's how it keeps getting larger and larger. Because every time you make the spaces, you make more and more. So the next round it'll be two. The round after that it would be three. The round after that would be four, and etc. So on this one, I only did five rounds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I cast, I slipped and stitched off sewed in on my edges. Those are the basics of a granny square blanket. You keep going and you keep going and you keep going until it's the size that you want. And that's the beauty of them. They can be as small or as large as you want. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of knitting tutorials. If you have any questions about the types of techniques that we're using or what we're doing, then be sure to... <laughs> my cat's playing with the art in the background. Oh my goodness. Be sure to check those out. We go into full detail about our double crochets, about our chains, about the magical ring, all of that. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. All right, bye guys.